Hey guys, so the other day I was reading an article about this popular singer who doesn't do any vocal warm-ups at all. Um, this really surprised me because as a singer, I find that vocal warm-ups, exercises, and training is the most important thing um, that you can do to maintain and improve your voice. Um, when I, uh, a couple of years ago, focused my career on um, writing for magazines and um, for websites and on my own blog, um, I wasn't um, training my voice as often as I should have. And when I really took music seriously and made it my career, um, I started doing exercises every day and I've really noticed uh, the improvement in my voice. Um, I've noticed it. Um, from Because the Night uh, to my latest song, When We Were, I've noticed the difference, my producer has noticed the difference, and my mom has noticed the difference, and it's, it's actually incredible um, what you can do when you exercise your voice every single day. And I know that I'm not the only one who's experienced this. Um, I know that Adele has, is now able to sing higher because of the vocal training she does. And I know Megan Trainer uh, trains her voice every day. Uh, it's just a really important thing to do um, if you want to improve as a singer. And there's different ways, there's different um, areas that you can focus on if you want to improve your vibrato, or if you want to improve your tone, or your resonance, um, your, your belting, whatever it is, um, you can improve all of it and you can maintain it and the thing is is it's not just it's not thinking about just today it's about thinking into the future and you want to be a singer for many years to come and when you want to sing for the rest of your life you have to have a really healthy and strong voice and um, doing vocal exercises every day will keep your voice as healthy as it can be um, I know that when I was doing I will wait um, it's actually a really hard song to sing and what I mean by that is is the words um, come really fast and when you go to sing it it's like you lose all your breath and you can't get through it and I know that my producer can tell you that when he was helping me sing ghost vocals that um, it's really hard to keep your breath during the song um, and I know that when I was in the studio I was having a bit of a hard time breathing but I've practiced every single day and now I can sing the song fully through without any trouble and I'm really proud of that and it reminds me of how important it is to do vocal exercises every day the way I see it is you have to treat your voice like an athlete treats their body and what I mean by that is is if you were going to run in the Olympics you would train the four years leading up to the Olympics every day you do stretching and you'd practice your timing and you would practice your form everything you need to do to be able to uh, run in the Olympics um, and for your voice you have to do the same thing um, if you want to sing as your career or even if you just want to improve when you're singing in the shower um, you have to train your voice every day so that it maintains its um, its quality, it improves on its quality, and that you get better at it. And you really have to take care of your voice um, because it's the only one you've got. And if your voice goes, then you know the, your joy of singing goes right along with it. And you definitely don't want that. So, so I say that you definitely have to train like an athlete. Every single day, you have to work at it. Um, pick areas you need to improve on. Pick areas you want to learn, and just every single day practice. As, um, as much as you can and sing all different types of songs um, all different types of genres and you will definitely improve your voice and it's just absolutely amazing well it's really important to train your voice and I'm a total advocate of making sure that you train your voice every single day I also think it's very important to work out your body because this helps with your stamina and your breath control while you're singing. Um, I know a lot of people run. I know um, Beyonce runs and Mick Jagger runs and a lot of people choose to run to build their stamina so that they can sing longer and sing easier. I personally hate running. I really don't like running. Uh, you know, in order to work out. So what I like to do is jump rope. It's also better for your knees, by the way. Um, I like jumping rope every day. It really helps um, to build up your stamina and your breath control, and I think that's a really good way. But anything you can do um, to build that up is really good. Dancing, um, I know bike riding is really good too. A lot of people like to ride their bike and sing to build that up. Anything you can do is really good. And when you work out your body 
and you work out your voice every day, you will be in tip top shape as a singer and you will notice the difference. The funny thing about filming this video today is I actually have a really croaky voice today. I'm not sure if you can hear it in the video. It feels uh, very dry and cracky. Um, so I'm actually after this going to do some light humming exercises um, which will repair my voice and get it feeling good again and hopefully tomorrow it'll be nice and smooth. I'm thinking in another video I'll show you guys some of the vocal exercises I like to do to maintain and improve on my voice. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Krista TV. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Um, please subscribe to be notified of future episodes and I will see you guys very soon.